Testament, Satan found another opportunity. You see, he was thrown down from from the heavens like like lightning. And Jesus saw Satan fall. In Luke chapter 10, verse 17 to 18. Lucas 10, 17 to 18. And when Satan saw Jesus went to the earth. Oh no, Jesus saw Satan coming up to the Satan tried to tempt Jesus. Satan tried to tempt Jesus. He attacked Jesus while the Son of God was in the flesh. He angered God when he was in the flesh. But remember the last rebuke in the temptation narratives of the Gospels. Jesus said, Worship the Lord your God and serve Him only. He reminded Satan that you are talking to your God. At du snakker med din Gud. Now today we see the church is the one that is being attacked by Satan. I dag så ser vi at menigheten blir angrepet av Satan. It continues to threaten the nation of Israel. Det fortsetter å true staten Israel. But it has also not stopped persecuting the church of Jesus Christ. We need to understand the activity of the enemy to be able to live a wise Christianity. Understanding the enemy gives us the advantage. Amen? Amen. Yeah. You know, have you ever seen a general in battle? All the soldiers are gathered together pointing to the direction of the enemy. All the tanks, all the missiles, all the guns, they're all shooting it in one direction. And the general reviews his troops. And he asks them, are, are, how many enemies do you have? And the person in the field would say, I don't know. Where are they? I don't know. What kind of weapons do they have? I don't know. Are we winning? I don't know. You see, in spiritual warfare, we are taught to focus on the Lord. But we are also given the wisdom to see who the enemy is. That is spiritual warfare. Our battle is not flesh and blood, but principalities, powers, rulers in high places. That's, that is why we need to understand spiritual warfare. You see, a lot of churches today are powerless. Like iron lungs, people try to imitate or bring forth life, but it's only a church full of programs. The Church of Jesus Christ needs to learn about the power of God. The Church of Jesus Christ needs to take advantage of the power made available through the Holy Spirit. The Church of Jesus Christ needs to learn how to use the Word of God. The power of God unto salvation. You see, power is available for us. But many of us do not know how to move in the power of God. 
We can we are not called by God to be just watching. God has called us not to be a watcher. But to be a witness. And you will be my witness. When the Holy Spirit comes on you. You will receive power. You will be a witness. Amen. Amen. That is why we need to understand spiritual warfare. I notice that a lot of people do not really pray against, uh, specifically, the attacks of the enemy. There are ministries that are specially anointed by God in the area of freedom. Det er mange tjenester som er særlig virksomme i frihet. Setting people free from the bondage of the enemy. De setter folk fri fra lenker og bånd til fienden. Our church, our ministry in the Philippines, Warriors and Watchmen. Vår tjeneste på Filippinene. Let me give a testimony. Jeg skal fortelle dere. We were in this camp. Vi var på en leir. And... I was talking to a Presbyterian pastor and another minister from the Pentecostal church. We were gathered in this um, building in a school. And then I, I, I received a word of knowledge that I need to enter into the place where the young people were. Because there was an evil spirit that took advantage over the place. Now there was a building on top of a hill. That's where the gathering was. We were in the room below the hill. And so I told the two pastors we should run up there. And so we went. And when we opened the place, the people were just dancing all over. Would you believe that half of the campers in the front were all slain? They were on the floor? The half of the campers at the back were dancing. But it was not of the Lord. And you know what caught our attention? I told my spiritual father who was with me. Let's pick up that guy. There was one camper that was floating in the air. That I called my spiritual father and we took him. We picked him up. And I told the other pastor, turn off the sound system. An evil spirit has entered this camp. You see, not all dancing is for the Lord. You remember Elijah confronting the prophets of Baal? What did they do? They danced. So not all dancing is for the Lord. And so, um, finally, a pastor, a man of God, took charge over the camp. And me and my spiritual father, we picked up this possessed floating guy. So min andre far, jeg vi tog os af. And we brought him down from the hill. Så satte gutten. And we brought him to a room. Og vi tog ham ind til et par rum. And we sat him on a chair. Og vi satte ham på en stol. His eyeballs were gone. Og hans øjne var helt borte. It was all white. De var helt hvide. He had a different voice. Han havde en anden stemme. And the Lord revealed to me that I would cast it out. And so when the other pastor who came down, that there were three of us, I told him we're not going to close our eyes. Remember this, in the Bible, you do not lay hands on a possessed. You lay hands on the sick. Okay, but not on the possessed. You take authority over people. And you know what? When we casted out the evil spirit out of this young man, a black cloud came up from the ground. 
and smart she come up from bakken. I can compare it to the exhaust of a car. Also, the washroom exhaust from point B. All of the sudden, a black cloud appeared below below us and lifted up. And you also, know the common smart leg up. And you know what happened? We yes. were full of ashes. Oh, we were full of stuff. Asking. You see, I've encountered evil spirits in gatherings so many times. There were times wherein we would have to deal with the evil spirits first among the attendees of our seminars and conferences before we could preach the word of God. I have this tradition when you are part of our team you will be part of the pray you have to fast also jeg har det som en regel at når vi er på sånne samlinger så må vi først faste I would always ask our team are you able to minister or not jeg spør folk på teamet er de i stand til å betjene eller ikke and they know that our team we have a very gifted ministry og de vet at vår tjeneste er særlig utrustet med gaver it's called warriors and watchmen what we do is we go out and we conduct revival in different places in the Philippines. Vi går ut og har vekkelse på forskjellige steder på Filippinene. But we are all fast. We we all fast. Men vi alle faster. Before we conduct the activity. Før vi gjør slike ting. In three gatherings I've seen people floating in the air. På tre sånne samlinger har jeg sett folk flyte i lufta. We've seen demonic manifestations all over. Vi har sett demoniske manifestasjoner overalt. We had, in one camp, we had this girl, she fell to the grass. Vi så en jente på en sånn lei som falt. And she was floating about 10 inches from the ground. Altså noen centimeter oppe fra bakken som fløt den rundt. Where she was on the floor. Hun var på den floor. But she was not, she was floating on from the, from the grass. Men hun altså var oppe fra grasset. And the girl was into deep witchcraft. Og hun var inne i dyp heksekunst. That we had to cast out evil spirits. Vi måtte kaste ut onde ånder. Angels have also appeared in our gatherings. Engler er også åpenbart her på våre samlinger. I remember the time when we were together, we were about 150 in one gathering. En gang så var vi 115. And I was so tired in my heart. I said, God, I know that you still want to do something. Jeg var så trøtt, men jeg sa til Gud, jeg forstår det. You see, we had this gathering. You remember the last day of a revival where everything is like explosive? Ja, altså det var eksplosivt på slutten av dens vekkelsesamlingen. That happened to us on the first day. Det skjedde allerede på første dagen. But we were five days in this camp. Men altså her var vi fem dager inn i leia. And so I had a good problem. Så jeg hadde et bra problem. My good problem was the breakthrough that we were expecting on Friday. We had it on a Monday. Ja, altså gjennombrudet som vi forventet på fredag. There was so much breakthrough that people were broken and just open to the things of God. Det var sånt gjennombrud at folk var knust og åpne for Herren. And I demanded all our staff to fast. Så jeg foreslo alle der som var ansatt eller sendt måtte faste. Let me tell you what happened on the last day. La meg fortelle hva som skjedde siste dag. When we were talking about breaking bandages among the young people. Når vi snakket om å bryte bånd i blant unge mennesker. We were addressing generational curses. Så hadde vi å gjøre med sånne familieånder. We were addressing idolatry in their families. Altså de måtte gjøre opp med hor i familien. We were addressing witchcraft and other occultic things that they had. Altså vi måtte ta oss av heksekunst og sånne ting som var i familien. When the spirit of God came down upon the camp. Når altså Guds ånd kom ned over leiren. All our staff, we were busy casting out evil spirits from the young people. Så var vi opptatt alle med å kaste ut onde ånder av de unge. I remember there was this very strong possessed man. Jeg husker det var en mann som var særlig sterkt. Excuse me for this example, but he was a homosexual. Altså han var en sodomi. And he was very strong. People were holding on to him. Han var veldig sterk. About eight of them. Omtrent åtte. He would lift up his hands like this and they would fly away. Han løftet hendene og folk flakk seg rundt. And I would come there and I said, in the name of Jesus, you sit down. Jeg sa, i navnet Jesus, sit ned. You stay down. Vær nede. And in the name of Jesus, I command all the evil spirits in this man, come out. Og i navnet Jesus, så befaler han hver og noen, kom ut. And the evil spirits would leave. Og det noen og andre forsvant. You know, we were 
consecrating ourselves that evening after that very strong um, spiritual warfare night. Also, we have to die and wait this time only come to nothing. I said, Lord, we're not yet done. There's still a lot of young people that need to be set free. I said, God, I lifted my hands like this and I said, God, I need your help.